Okay, so we're going to work through an example together. So it says, in the 1920s and 1930s, there were successes for extremist parties in elections across Europe. Some of these parties formed governments and directly involved in starting the Second World War. In recent elections, extremist parties were successful at the expense of more traditional parties. It is possible that this dangerous situation will get worse. Our schools must teach children about the link between extremist politics and war in order to reduce the likelihood for future wars. Okay, so I broke this down again, deconstructing the argument. What is it about? It's, a some, it's got something to do with old extremist parties, and that's, that's what it's getting at. Okay, the conclusion that it's given you, it's told you that schools need to teach extremist politics to decrease their popularity. It said that right there. Our schools must teach children about the link in order to reduce it. It's told you that that's what you have to do. That's the point of the passage. So it's given that. It's given the conclusion. So now we have to think, this is true. How can it be true? What information are we missing? So this is all given to you. Extremist parties have made gains. Extremist parties were responsible for starting World War II. However, if you know that party, m parties have made gains and you know that they were responsible, what is teaching them going to do to decrease their popularity? So the assumption in this passage that needs to be there in order for this to hold true was given. Teaching will make extremist parties less popular. Because how would you go from this to this without this? Does everyone see that? So now if we go back to it, um, we can go through it. So, A, events in history inevitably repeat themselves in the future. No, because that's got nothing to do with this conclusion about teaching. It is not the job of parents to teach children about politics. No, it's saying the schools are teaching children. And again, that's not... C, teaching about the link between extremist politics and war will cause fewer people to vote for extremist parties. So that's the one that I thought was the assumption because of the reasons we've seen before. It needs to be there because this is the link between um, extremist parties and why we're teaching them, because teaching them will cause fewer people to vote. And these two, extremism is the main reason countries go to war. I think that's just pretty irrelevant. And the recent election success of extremist parties will continue to grow. It might continue to grow, and that is a good reason, but it's not explaining this conclusion. Why do schools need to teach children? It's because teaching is going to cause fewer people to vote for them. And that's the reason. Okay, so th that was an assumption.